Hi, Year 5. Uh, welcome back to our maths lessons. We are carrying on with volume, but before we begin, let's have a look at practicing some area and perimeter work. On the board, you can see A and B shapes. They're composite shapes, which makes it more tricky to find the area and perimeter. But we have done this before, so I'd like you to have a go. You will notice that area, um, shape B does have a question mark, so you're going to have to calculate the length of that side to help you. Now, my top tip is to remember to find the area. You will need to divide the composite shapes into two separate rectangles. Uh, you can pause the video now, and when, re when you're ready, unpause it, and I'll show you the answers. Okay, so uh, the area of shape A is 32 centimeters squared. We must remember the squared because we are actually measuring the inside of the shape. Um, and that's because we've got two times seven centimeters, which is 14 centimeters squared for one rectangle and for the other rectangle, six times three centimeters, which is 18 centimeters squared. You add those together and get 32 centimeters squared. For the perimeter, I hope you've all remembered that you just add up the sum of all the lengths. And uh, that's also 32 centimeters in this case. For shape B, again, I've divided it into two. My first rectangle is worth 32 centimetres squared, and my second rectangle is worth six centimetres squared. So for that, I have an area of 38 centimetres squared. The perimeter, hopefully you all spotted that the missing length was two centimetres, and when you add them all together, you get 30, uh, 26 centimetres. Well done if you got both of those right. Our learning objective today is to compare volume. Now this is great because it gives us the opportunity to practice finding the volume of shapes from yesterday, but they will be unusual ones, not the cubes and cuboids that we had. To do this, we're going to recap on finding the volume of a cuboid or a shape, and skill two will be to compare and order shapes according to their volume. So a quick revision then for bronze. Can you remember the formula for finding volume? I'm going to give you five seconds. And it is length times height times width. Can you remember how to find the volume of the shapes below? Each of these cubes is worth one centimeter cubed. Yes, we have to add all of the bricks or cubes together. Again, if you find it easier, you may make these shapes with cubes at home and then count them. So shape A is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight centimeters cubed. Shape B is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 centimeters cubed. Let's have a look at shape C. Remember, you can find the volume by counting the centimeter cubes. Have a go. Did you get it? The volume of shape C is seven centimeter cubed. Now have a try for shape D. This time, the volume of shape D is 10 centimeters cubed. Have a go at these two shapes. Find their volume, and when you're ready, unpause the video, and I'll reveal the answers. Shape A has a volume of 10 centimeters cubed, and shape B has a volume of 12 centimeters cubed. For key still two, we need to compare the shapes. So first of all, we're going to have to work out what the volume is to be able to compare them. We then need to write a sentence to compare both A and B. So I'm going to start by counting and finding the volume of each of these shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one is twelve centimeters cubed. Again, please 
forgives my awful writing with the mouse. For shape B, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of those one centimeter cubes. So I've got fourteen centimeter cubed. Now to write the symbol in here, uh, to write, to compare the volumes as a sentence, we're going to use our symbols. We've seen them lots this year, our less than, our greater than, and our equals to. So 12 centimeter cubed is less than 14 centimeters cubed. And that's all you have to do for this sort of question. Let's have a look at another one. This time, the question is asking you to put these shapes in descending order according to their volume. Descending means that we start with the largest one first and then we get smaller and smaller as we go along. I'm going to get you to pause the video in a moment just when give you a chance to count the cubes and find the volume of each of those shapes. When you're finished, I'll reveal the answers. Okay. How did you get on? Did you order them correctly? We have C, which is 15 centimeter cubed, D, which is 14 centimeter cubed, B, which is 12 centimeters cubed, and A, which is 10 centimeters cubed. You can see that we've put them in descending order because C, which goes first, is the largest, and A, which goes last, is, has the smallest volume. Why not have a go yourself now? Put these shapes, this time, in ascending order according to their size. You can pause the video, and when you're ready, unpause it, and I'll reveal the answer for you. And there you go. This time, C is the smallest at seven centimeter cubed, and B is the largest at 13 centimeters cubed. How did you get on? So we're ready to start our task now. Please find the um, activities on the school website, but you have bronze and silver to do. Remember to check your answers. And when you're happy, move on to the reasoning and problem solving questions. Moving our learning on, we have a question like this. Jamal makes a shape from one centimeter cubes. Lara makes one shape with a volume of four centimeters cubed and another with a volume of six centimeters cubed. She then combines them. Investigate which child now has a shape with the smallest volume. It will really help now if you use cubes to help you. If not, you could always draw them to help you find the answer. Good luck. I've put the answers on with the question sheets for you when you've done that task. When you finish gold, there's platinum and emerald challenges for you to try. When you're ready, please mark your answers and also have a reflection. How did you get on with your learning today? What are you most pleased with? That's our lesson for today. Have a fantastic rest of your week and see you soon. Bye bye.